Hi guys, welcome back to the allotment. You join me again in the greenhouse. Uh, thought I'd show you how well the plants have done in the last couple of days after being potted on and actually given some water, you know. So, as you can see, the tomatoes have bounced back quite nicely. The peppers, I mean you can really see that he's bouncing back now, bless him. Yeah, the peppers are doing really well. The kale's doing good. And the peas, they just need potting out really. They just need to go into the ground. The spring onions need to go out because they're getting a bit too big for the pot. Uh, the melons doing really well. The cucumbers, one of them bounced back really well. One of them's kind of coming back, but I, I'm not holding much hope for this fella. I don't think he's going to make it. Uh, the butternut squash, well, they're just butternut squash. They're doing fine. Um, the little plum tomatoes, they're coming on great. Uh, all of the tomatoes in here are doing really well. The only problem with this is, I don't know if you can see that, but I now have an ant's nest in this, oh, in this tray, which is not good because that means in the last couple of days the ants have moved in. So these need coming out really quickly because I don't want the ants damaging the, the roots. Uh, I'm probably going to have to put down ant powder or something as well which is going to be a complete ball ache because I didn't want to have to do that. Right, so, let me turn you back around. So what we're actually here to do today is the mowing. Get as much of it done as quickly as we can. And we're going to try out a new camera angle as well because uh, I'm going to use one of my old chest mounts from my old mountain biking days. So yeah, we'll crack on with that and we'll see where it leads us. Yeah, how's this for an angle? Right, so we've got the trusty web mower with us today. And what we're going to do, we're going to mow the allotment, but I'm also going to very quickly do this grass strip down the middle of the drive because, well, it keeps catching the bottom of my car. And if I don't do it, I don't know who else will. So that's job one. So we'll crack on with that, eh? Hopefully she'll start first time as well. Okay, so I've done quite a bit of mowing, uh, but I need to move on to other jobs. The main job I want to do out here is I want to put the peas in this tyre. And what we're going to do, we're going to put a wire frame, but we're going to weave it through this and let the peas climb on this. So let's crack on with that. Yeah, 
And now it's raining. Okay. Right, we will go and hide somewhere as soon as I finish this. In fact, I can water the greenhouse while we wait. He says. Alright, that should plop that there, innit? I'm going to disappear into the greenhouse. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Right, so uh, the weather's turned against us now. It's starting to rain outside. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do is, why am I being rained on? I feel... What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plant those tomatoes on so I can get rid of those freaking ants. So, let's, let's give it a bit of that, yeah? Oh, flipping ants, man. They look like they've literally nested in the hole of that seed tray as well, so I might just prick the uh, tomatoes out and then just throw everything else away. Bugger. All right, how many of these do we need? Let's have a quick count, hang on. Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, right, 14 plenty pots. There's five. I'm doing well. We've got five. Hopefully that's not making the camera shake. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, two more. Because I can count. I can't count, I'm useless and rubbish. Right, so 14. Let me just get them out of there. Come on, out you pop. He do not want to bloody leave, does he? Come on. Can I get you from the bottom? Yeah, I'll get you from the bottom then. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. So what we'll do, we'll start with the uh, cherry crystal first, because there's six of those, I think, three, six, yeah, there's six cherry crystals, so we'll do them first, and then we'll move on and do them towards the, well, the whole thing's an ant's nest at the moment, so. <sighs> do I need to turn you around a little bit? Shall we turn you around a little bit? Hopefully the camera don't fall over, you'll chick fall now, I've said that though. Right, so. Ah, it never rains but it pours, eh? Can't believe it started raining just as I wanted to put the peas out. Oh wow, this is really dry. Let's get some of the moist stuff from the bottom. Right. Let's give it a little... Come on, you're doing seedlings now, come on. 
I'm going to need a little bit more room than that. Oh look, we can use this as a dabber. No we can't, it's not stiff enough. What was that for anyway? Oh, the broad beans. Yeah, because they worked really well, didn't they? Alright, so, in, lift, and there we go. First little fella, and he's a proper little fella as well, bless him. Right, so let's get him situated in his new home. There you go, my little dude. As you grow up, I'll just put a bit more soil around the bottom. Because I don't know whether you know this or not, but uh, with tomato plants, all the little hairs on the stem are potential roots. So remember that when you're planting them on, because you can put them in just a little bit deeper than you would any other plant, and little roots will just grow out the sides, which is rather lovely. All right, number one done. Oh, that's a lovely sound. And by lovely sound, obviously, I mean horrible sound. Yeah, it's a shame it started raining. I really wanted to do that frame for the peas and get them in. But hey ho, right, where'd I put me dabber? Come here, you. Now, obviously, this isn't the perfect way of doing this, but needs must and all that. I wasn't planning on doing this today, but then I wasn't planning on a, a, a family of ants moving in, so... You know, it's what it is. Rough with a smooth and all that. Alright. i just got to make sure I do these in order, because if I mix them up, knowing me, I'll forget what they are. Oh, here we go. See, now we're getting into the ant's nest. a good one. Oh, poop. Right, didn't even, didn't even load it up. What an idiot. Right, let's just firm it down a little bit. A bit more in it. If you're wondering what I just did then, I just thumbed an ant into me seed tray. To make sure there's no more ants. Right, we're good. We're good. Make sure the, everything's pointing in the right direction. Now, I wouldn't normally... Ready Woodhouse! I wouldn't normally move these yet, but because of the ants, I don't want the ants nipping away at the roots. Because that is... Wow, that's tough. Because that is not going to help the plant at all. So... Look, they look like a little bugger. Not only cute. Hopefully, he'll give me lots and lots and lots and lots of tomatoes as well. Yeah, we're, we're literally in the middle of the ant's nest now. Go away, Mr. Butterfly. Alright, so let's... Yeah, I don't normally... I wouldn't normally worry about them being uh, bare-rooted, but because of the ants, I don't want to bring any over with the uh, well, with everything else. So, <sighs> let's get them covered as quickly as we can. Oh yeah, the rain's starting to pick up a little bit more now. Yay! Just what I needed. Thank you very much, rain. Actually, it is what we all need at the moment, because it's been very dry, hasn't it? Let's be honest. Right, let's get this all mixed in. I feel like David Bellamy. Yes, lovely. Although that sounds more like Boris Johnson than David Bellamy, but oh well. 
All right. It's very, this is very dusty. I'm just going to grab my watering can and wet that down a bit more. Here's one I had prepared earlier. And I'll just leave that sit for a minute. I'll have you there for a moment. Right. Wow. Yeah, they're cacking themselves over. They're cacking themselves over there now. I just realised that the. I don't know if the wide-angle lens will actually pick anything up over there. Who's that? Oh, the missus telling me to hurry up. I wasn't going to spend too long at the allotment, but I've been here for about two hours so far. And you know, I was mowing the grass. That strip down the middle. Some fellas just come out with another mower. Oh, wobbly. Some fellas just come out with another mower and done exactly the same thing. But he's cut, hasn't cut the grass, but he's just made it look like he's cut the grass. Yeah, hmm. Sorry about the wobbling. Yeah, it's annoyed me a little bit, if I'm honest. I've never understood people who need to do that. Oh, well, whatever. Come on, let's, uh, let's get this going. Oh, and hopefully... Everything that we have growing over here, we can get growing fairly quickly. And that'll keep, if nothing else, it'll keep the missus off my back. Where did I put that thing? Oh, there it is. Found it! Right, definitely no ants in that. And that's what it's all about, making sure Mr. Anty isn't there. And then of course, with tomatoes as well, you don't want the bottom leaves touching the soil. So as this grows, I will snip the bottom leaves off. Oopsie! I'll snip the bottom leaves off and uh, just raise the soil level a little bit. Oh, it's itchy nose. It's a handy thing about glasses and dirty hands. If you've got dirty hands, you can scratch your nose with your glasses. Right, next. The ants are going absolutely nuts. But this is my greenhouse. This is not a holiday home for ants. And as soon as I can get rid of that uh, board, not board, why do I say board? Seed tray. Then, uh, the better. Right, so we'll have you in there and we'll have you dotted. Is that bloody bindweed? Bloody stuff. Right, so we'll have these along here now. Don't know if you can see, but I'm putting them over here. as well. Right, so this is the only tiger striped one that I've got. I'm a little bummed because you only get five seeds and he's the only one. He's the only one that grew. So, there we go. Now this, this, this is going to be fun. Shall I bring you over here to have a look? Come on, do you want to come over here and have a look? See what's going on? Come here, come here. Look, watch this. I'm going to put you over here. And hopefully, 
Oh, if I can get you stand up. If you watch, please excuse the tilt. If you watch under this, this this is going to be ugly. Oh, let's get him out because we can clean him off and use him for something else. So I'm going to pick this up, go straight out that way. You look at the table. See all the bloody eggs. Look at this. Can you, can you, can you actually? I mean, obviously everything's getting watered now, so they're going to have a bit of a bath, whether they want one or not. All right, I'm going to get the watering done. I'll see you in a second, okay? Right, it's stopped raining. I've still got about half an hour, so I'm going to put this cage up, get the peas in before I do a runner. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So all I've done here is I've just run some wire down the side of this netting and that's just to give it a bit of structure, that's all. Just to give it a bit of body. I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to run a couple of bits of wire across just to hold it up a little bit better. And then, hopefully I won't need to put any canes in it. So I need to put canes in it, I might be in trouble because I don't think I've got any. So let's see if this is going to work. Alright, first failure on the allotment is imminent. Alright, so we'll shove him in there like that. And then we'll shove this side in. Like that. Do you see where I'm going with it, yeah? Okay, that side needs being a bit better than that. Alright, let's get them as straight as we can. Now, because I've used this wire, hopefully I can sculpt it a little bit. And yeah, it's 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 floppy. It's I might have to I might have to put a couple of bits in, maybe two posts of some description just to hold it up. Yeah, shall I, shall I put two posts in or do you reckon I can just get away with two bits of... I'm going to see if I can get away with two bits of wire. Where did I put the wire? It's over there, back in a sec. Hello. Right, uh -huh. right so... Ugh. These, by the way, are actually... Uh, cable snips for brake cables on cycles because I'm not just wearing this t-shirt as a funny thing it's uh, I did actually used to be a cycle mechanic so anyway digressing again let's get that hello what's that about oh okay it's me watch telling me I've done me 8,000 steps right so let's Oh, let's break my fingers, twisting this bad boy together. There we go, if we put that that side, and then come across to this side and do pretty much the same. Yeah, that little bit of rain, and nearly everybody's left the allotment, can you believe that? Unbelievable. It's England, it rains, it's always going to rain. That's still going to be floppy, isn't it? I'm going to have to use sticks. Oh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy now. I'm just going to put sticks in. Just two sticks is all it's allowed. Oh, well, it was worth a go, though. I still think the uh, structure itself has merit. But... Where have, I, have I got any canes? That's the question because I wasn't planning on using canes at all, so I never bothered buying any new ones. So, I'm now trying to remember where I saw canes, or even if I actually saw canes or was just imagining it. Uh, give me a second, I'll be back. Right, so, I did find a cane and I've snapped it in half, because I'm, I'm mean like that. 
because like I say I didn't want to have to use canes but it has forced me so we'll weave this down you know I really didn't want to have to do this but, you know it is what it is I guess Come on, and then last one, pull it right the way in. There we go. Right, and ram it in. Ram it in. Ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. It's not even straight. <laughs> oh, it's an attempt to get it semi straight, eh? Alright, the same with this one. From about there, I think, I did the other side. Oh, God, that side's horrible. Use that. Can we use that end? No, oh, too late now, we're doing it. Alright. So we'll weave this one down. Oh, spinny spinny. Come on. You can do this. This shouldn't be this hard. I was going to say a dirty joke then, but I better keep it P uh, PG at least, I suppose. Oh, that's too far. See, again, I'm having to stop myself from saying a dirty joke. One of these days I will say a dirty joke on this channel, but not today. Alright, there we go. Right then, so. Let's just tuck them over. Now, do you see it? Yeah, it's going to climb up, meet in the middle, hopefully. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh dear, okay. Um, right, let's, uh, do you know what? Just for giggles, let's see what the peas look like in here. Wow, this cardboard's really tough. Uh, is, is there actually a pea in here? Okay. That's a bit weird. I'm not actually seeing the pea. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Eh? Oh, there you go. There's that one. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's rip these out anyway. Ah. I rip these ones out, then... Oh, hello, Mr Earwig. How are you today? Is it time for you to come and play? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. The roots are doing really well. So, let's try and do it so you can see what I'm doing. That'd be better, wouldn't it? Right. Ah. So, we'll get the peas in. Look at that. You tell me that ain't going to work. Hey? Okay? You tell me that's not going to work. It's not going to work, is it? It's just going to go mental. Right, so that's that one in. Let's grab his mate here. This is his friend Bob. Shall we give him all names? This is Bob. And Bob's going to run up next to his mate John. And then, by popular demand, we've got to uh, we've got to use a very specific name for one of these. And I promise you it isn't a swear word. But this one's Gertrude. Now, at the weekends, Gertrude likes to be called Anthony. And the sun's coming out. See, I, men I mentioned Anthony and the sun comes out. What does that tell you? It tells you it's a Saturday. Now, people who know me or if on this channel from my gaming channel will know the relevance of Anthony and Saturdays. I don't want to go into it if it's okay with you. <laughs> Alright, look at that. Go on, get in lad. Bloody lovely that. Alright, now hopefully let's get the roots pointing downwards, that'd be useful. Hopefully these will take off now. 
let's just bend that in a little bit. There you go, look, my little friend. Right, we'll call that one Hunty. Again, people on my gaming channel. <laughs> Uh, so we've got Gertrude, Anty. This one's got to be called Anthony for legal reasons, I believe. Right now, obviously, I'm hoping that these will grow up to be big, strong peas, and if they don't, I will be very annoyed. Very, very, very annoyed. Oh, that is actually a root coming out of that one. That is not. What the heck is that? Is that an elastic band? I think that used to be an elastic band. Right, so we'll get him in here. That'll be a bit deeper. Yeah, I shouldn't really do in jokes, um, but it's funny. I'm sorry, but it is. I'm sorry, Tony, but you, you do ask for this sometimes, mate. Alright, so dead, or is it? Let's have a quick look, because there is a root system, but not for a pea, okay. Alright, so let's just pull all of this over, come on, let's do it the quick way. There's a poor fella just filling up his watering can over there, I bet he thinks I've lost the plot. Right, and believe it or not, there is a pea in here, and we, pff, go away, we are going to plant him. We're not going to give him a name, just in case he doesn't grow up to be a big strong pea. But there we go. Alright, now, they'll either grow, or they won't. That is the duality of gardening, they'll either grow or they won't. Yeah, I'm just beat it, beating up Gertrude now. It really is a Saturday night. Anyway, oh look at that, and I've still got plenty of time to get back as well. Alright, let's just weave this through a little bit. There we go. Right. It needs to be pushed over that way a little bit more actually. Oh dear. I think I've... Oh, I've killed him. Oh no, I've killed him. Live on, little one, live on. Alright. So there we go. We've got peas in the tyre now. This is more of just something to put in the tyre because I need to build a lot more beds and as quick as I can as well because I'm running out of space and running out of time. But anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Give, the, give us a thumb up and all that stuff. Um, yeah. And hopefully next time we come up we'll get some uh, weeding done around the taters, the onions and, well, basically all the way around here. Try and make it look nice again. But until then guys, take care everybody. Bye bye now.